So the Einstein Riddle Zebra Puzzle goes like this. There are five houses lined up, each of a different color, each inhabited by a different individual of a different nationality, each drinks a different beverage, smokes a different cigarette, and cares for a different pet. And our goal is to figure out who drinks the water and who owns the zebra, given these 15 clues. So let's get to it then, shall we? So we have our 15 clues, our houses lined up, and a grid box to fill in the house color, nationality, drink, smoke, and pet as we figure them out. So we'll start off with the clues we can simply fill in first. Clue number one, there are five houses. Check. Number nine, milk is drunk in the middle house. So we go to the row for drinks, then the column corresponding to the middle house, and fill in milk. Number 10, the Norwegian lives in the first house. So we'll put the Norwegian in the first house. Number 15, the Norwegian lives next to the blue house. Since there's no house to the left of the Norwegian and only one to the right, we now know that the second house is the blue house. Now it gets a little more tricky. Number six, the green house is immediately to the right of the ivory house. Well, first, let's see which house could be green. Can it be house number one? No, because there's no house to the left of it. And it's obviously not house number two, since that one is blue. And it can't be the middle house, since clue number four says coffee is drunk in the greenhouse and milk is drunk in the middle house. This leaves houses four and five as the potential culprits of the greenhouse. Since either of these two could potentially be to the right of an ivory house. Now let's see which house could be the ivory house. It can't be house number one because the house to the right of it is blue. And it's obviously not the blue house. And it can't be house number five because there's no house to the right of it which could be green. This leaves houses three and houses four as the options for the ivory house. Since both of these could have a greenhouse to the right of it. Now before we move on, we should notice that the first house can't be ivory, it can't be green, and it can't be blue, and it also can't be red because clue number two tells us that the Englishman lives in the red house, and since the first house has a Norwegian in it, by process of elimination, we can conclude that house number one is yellow. Now we can utilize clue number eight, cools are smoked in the yellow house, so we'll throw cools in there. Now we can use clue number 12. Cools are smoked in the house next to the house where the horse is kept. Since the only house next to the cools house is the blue house, we know the horse goes in there. At this point, we have two different color combinations of which the last three houses could be. Since ivory and green must be next to each other, with green to the right of ivory, this leaves the two choices being ivory, green, and red, or red, ivory, green. Since we only have two options to choose from, we can either choose the right one and be finished with no contradictions, or come to a contradiction and realize that the other option must necessarily be the correct one. Let's try the ivory-green-red combination first. Number two, the Englishman lives in the red house. Now you'll notice I'm using transparent icons for each of these because we don't know which of these belongs where just yet. If you're doing this on pen and paper or on the LSATs, I suggest saving a corner of each box for you to write one of these in when you're unsure of where they go. Number four, coffee is drunk in the greenhouse. Now you'll notice we have two rows with one column completely blank in those two rows. So we should look for a clue that can fill in these two spots. And that clue is number five, the Ukrainian drinks tea. Once again, two rows, one column open, and luckily we have clue number 13. The Lucky Strike Smoker drinks orange juice. Now at this point, we don't want to use clue number 11, because there's three or more boxes that Chesterfield or Fox can go into. That leaves us with clues 3, 7, and 14. The Spaniard owns the dog, the Old Gold Smoker owns snails, and the Japanese smokes... A cat in a parliament's! Now two of these clues contain a pet, two contain a cigarette, and two contain a nationality. And we'll have to use two of these to branch off again. And either we'll get the right one, or one will be wrong and the other will be right, or 
Both will be wrong and we'll know that our ivory, green, and red option from the beginning was incorrect. And we can choose whichever two of these we'd like as the branch point since all three of them can only go in the two columns of house three and house four. Later we'll see that the ones that we choose are relevant if we want to save time. At this point though, you should realize that there are three categories, nationality, cigarette, and pet, that need to fit into two columns. And this can never work because three is bigger than two. And no matter what, we'll always have one of these things overlapping in each other. So you can immediately deduce that both the options won't work and that our original choice of ivory, green, and red house is incorrect. But I'll still walk you through the process to show you why. So we'll make our first option the Spaniard and the dog in house three and the Japanese and the parliaments in house four. And now by clue seven, we can't put the old golds and the snail in house three because the snail and the dog overlap. And we can't put them in house four either because the old golds and the parliaments overlap. And for the second option, the same thing, just the Japanese and the parliaments in house three and the Spaniard and the dogs in house four. And the same thing happens with the old golds and the snails. So from all that, we can conclude that option one, the ivory, green, and red house is wrong. So therefore, it is the red, ivory, and green house option. And now we have all the colors of our houses situated. So clue two, the Englishman lives in the red house. We'll put the Englishman in the red house. And clue four, coffee is drunk in the greenhouse. So we'll put coffee in there. So now we're left with clues 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and 14. And we don't want to use clues 7, 11, and 14 because they each pertain to three or more boxes. This leaves clues 3, 5, and 13. And of these three, we want to use numbers 5 and 13 because the items in these two can either go in one column or the other. And that will require us to go through the least amount of options when figuring out what goes where. And if you're taking the law school admissions tests, where these type of questions are prominent, every second is valuable. So the Ukrainian drinks tea and the Lucky Strike smoker drinks orange juice. And we'll try putting the Ukrainian in tea in house four and the Lucky Strikes in orange juice in house two. So then by clue three, the Spaniard owns the dog. The only house for that to go in is the fifth house. Then we're left with clue 14, the Japanese smokes parliaments. And no matter where we try to put the Japanese in the parliaments, it's going to overlap. So this means Ukrainian and tea goes in house two and orange juice and lucky strikes goes in house four. So now we have the Japanese smokes parliaments, which can only go in house five. And the Spaniard owns the dog, which can only go in house four. Then clue seven, the old gold smoker owns snails, which can only go in house three. Then we're left with our final clue, the man who smokes Chesterfields lives in the house next to the man with the fox. And the only place that can accommodate Chesterfields is house two, and the only house next to house two that doesn't have a pet is house one. So we put the fox in there. So what are the only two things left available to go in these last two boxes? The water and the zebra. The Norwegian, who lives in a yellow house, smokes cools, and owns a fox, drinks the water. And the Japanese, who lives in a greenhouse, drinks coffee, and smokes parliaments, owns the zebra. Alright, peace out.